Oxford Read and Imagine, Level Three. Fear at the Festival by Paul Shipton, read by Adam Sims, published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2016. Meet the characters. Hello, my name is Rosie. This is my brother. Hi, I'm Ben. This is Grandpa. And here's Grandpa's fantastic van. It can go anywhere. Grandpa, Ben and Rosie's grandfather. Clunk, Grandpa's robot. Max, Ben's friend and Alice's brother. Alice, Rosie's friend. And Max's sister. A man and a woman at the festival. Now enjoy this story, Fear at the Festival. Chapter One. It was the day of the summer festival. Rosie was wearing a green dress and a big hat with lots of flowers. Do you like my costume? She asked. It's very nice, said Ben. Ben was wearing jeans and a sweater. Why aren't you wearing a festival costume? Grandpa asked him. I like to watch the parade in the festival, Ben answered, but I don't want to be in it. I don't like being in front of lots of people. Later. Max and Alice came to the house, and Grandpa drove them all to the festival in town. There were people everywhere. The parade is going to start at two o'clock," said Grandpa. I'm going to take Rosie and Alice to their float. Clunk, please stay with the boys. But Clunk wasn't listening. He really loved the festival. He wanted to go everywhere and find the best costume there. Ben and Max were watching a man in a clown costume. He's funny," said Max. The boys were having a good time and laughing. Suddenly, Ben stopped. "Wait," he said. "Where's Clunk?" He isn't here now. They looked and looked, but they could not see the little robot. Chapter Two. Clunk! Shouted Ben. Where are you? I can see him," said Max. Look there, he's with that man. The boys started to run, but then 
they stopped. That isn't clunk, said Ben. That's a big drum. The man was carrying the drum to one of the floats for the parade. Max started to ask the people close to them. Excuse me, we're looking for a little robot. Can you help us, please? I'm sorry, said a woman. I can't. No robots here, said a man. But a girl said, A man and a woman asked us about a little robot, too. The girl pointed to two people in the crowd. Why are they looking for Clunk? Ben asked his friend. I don't know, said Max. Let's go and ask them. They started to walk to the man and woman, but suddenly Ben stopped. Wait, he told Max. Listen to them. That little robot was fantastic, said the man. You're right, said the woman. We must find him. I want that robot. They started to walk into the crowd. Ben was scared. Did you hear that, Max? He asked. They want to steal Clunk. We have to stop them. Chapter 3 Ben took out his cell phone and said, We have to tell Grandpa about those people. But Grandpa didn't answer. Perhaps he can't hear his phone because the festival is very loud, Ben said. He looked at his friend. We have to find Clunk before those people find him. Come on! Festival day was always busy with lots of people in town, but the two boys ran fast. It wasn't easy in the big crowd, but they didn't stop. They looked everywhere. Then, I can see him! I can see Clunk! shouted Max. He's near Rosie's float! The people on the floats were waiting for the start of the parade. Clunk was close to Rosie's float. Ben quickly told the robot about the two people in the crowd. They want to steal you, he said. They're looking for you now. We have to take you to Grandpa, said Max. Rosie was listening from the float. Grandpa went to the van again, she said. He wants to watch the parade there. We can't walk to the van, said Ben. Those people are going to see us. No, they're not said Max. I have an idea. Chapter 4 
The parade started, and now there were two new people on Rosie and Alice's float. Ben and Max. The boys had drumsticks in their hands, but they weren't hitting a drum. They were hitting clunk. Is this okay? asked Ben. Yes, said Clunk. It doesn't hurt. I'm a robot. The crowd shouted and clapped. Clunk was having fun. He loved the festival, and he really loved being on a float. This is fantastic, he shouted. But Clunk did this at a bad time. There's that robot, shouted the woman in the green jacket. Quick, shouted Ben. Let's go. He started to push Clunk. What are you doing? shouted Rosie. But there was no time to answer. Ben and Max jumped off the float. Clunk hit the ground on his side. Come here, shouted the man in the crowd. We need that robot, shouted the woman. Stop! Ben and Max did not stop. There was no time to pick up Clunk, so they started to push him. They ran fast. A band was in the parade in front of them. Excuse me, shouted Ben. Chapter 5 Grandpa was having a good time at the festival. He was watching the parade and waiting for Rosie's float. Suddenly, there was a noise from the parade. Grandpa could hear shouts from the crowd. What's that? said Grandpa. Some people were laughing. But why? Suddenly, Grandpa saw them. Ben, Max, and Clunk. The two boys were running fast, and they were pushing the robot on the ground in front of them. The crowd was laughing and clapping for them. We're not in the parade, shouted Max. We can't stop. Grandpa ran quickly into the street to stop Clunk. Ben started to tell Grandpa about the man and woman, but Max stopped him. They're here, he said. Excuse me, said the woman. We're taking photos of the festival for the town newspaper. We wanted a photo of this robot. So, you weren't trying to steal him? asked Max. Steal him? she said. No! We want a photo of him, the woman said. The man looked at the children. 
You were fantastic in the parade. Can we have you in the photo, too? Yes, said Max. Now, lots of people are going to see you in the festival, Ben, Grandpa said. Ben smiled. That's okay. Picture Dictionary Band Carry Cell Phone Clap Clown Costume Crowd Drum Drumstick Fast Festival Float Flowers Funny Ground Hurt In front of Laugh Loud Near Newspaper Parade Photo Point Push Robot Scared Shout Side Steal Take a photo. Town. <laughs>